I'm Dr. Erica Harney. I'm the Director of Development for the DPS Foundation. The DPS Foundation firmly believes that DPS students should be afforded the very same education of other districts in Montgomery County, and this is just one way of many that the community can support that effort. The DPS Foundation raises community support, whether that's financial or through partnerships, for the district itself and its employees. And so every year we offer awards to our teachers and administrators. And so any community member can contribute to our teacher and school awards through our website and donating with the Dayton Foundation. Every spring we do our teacher awards and administrator awards and those are going to open on April 1. The application is fully online. We just require some basic information about your classroom or your school and ask for individual line item budgets. Those close on April 30th and so that application process will then be judged by our program committee for which awards will be made this summer to start next fall. The purpose of the grants really is to cover other expenses that may not be in a school's budget or something that's covered by the district. This is typically enrichment programs, after school pieces, other classroom supports, or has been something that uh, is on the individual student level. So something that they may need individually, like chef jackets, or we've purchased the choir robes that go to students individually. The application process is really simple. We actually have a pre-made template. So if you're not able to get online real quick, we do have a downloadable form that you can use as a template, write out all your responses, and then cut and paste those into the Google form. We also have plenty of tips and guidelines on our website on the teacher award and school award pages that will help guide responses. Over the years we've made the application as short as we possibly can to get straight to the point about what you want to do in your classroom or school. I'm Melissa Sharp. I teach fourth grade science and social studies at Ruskin Elementary. Uh, I received a grant for $500 and it allowed me to purchase something called Make Do, which is a cardboard construction set of tools. And what they can do is use cardboard, which is great because it's recycled. Uh, we don't have to buy anything new, just people contribute cardboard to it. And they can create all kinds of creations. They can cut things out. They've built things like a scenery from books that they've read. They've built carnival games. Sometimes it's open-ended. They can choose what they want. I can create challenges for them. What I like about it is that it is so open-ended, as open-ended as I want it. You know, either they're doing something specific or they're creating on their own. And the whole thing is engineering design which is uh, great for teaching our kids perseverance because they know if they want something, they're gonna have to work through any difficulties. First of all, I just felt really appreciated when I received that, knowing that I had the freedom to get something that my students could enjoy, which would be educational, that was great, but it was just nice to feel like what I wanted to do in my classroom was appreciated by someone. The process was very simple. This was my first ever grant. I've never written one before. It always just sounded intimidating. Uh, this time I just couldn't resist. I just had to get on and try it and I could not believe how easy it was. I don't think it took more than five or 10 minutes. I spent a lot more time figuring out what I wanted than just writing the grant. Oh, my name is Nicole Plenner, Mrs. Plenner. I teach physical education grade seven and eight here at Wright Brothers Middle School. I've actually received two grants from the program. The first one for, was for 30 yoga balls. And so that is a classroom set for um, exercise. It's just nice to have one for everybody. There's no sharing, everybody has their own. It's a kind of a lifetime activity. So I want kids to learn something that they can do in the, in the future by themselves. So they can buy a yoga ball and that's something that they already know how to utilize. Um, my second grant was for pickleball, which pickleball is, um, may or may not know, is the fastest growing sport in America. The great thing about pickleball for PE is it takes a small amount of space. Tennis is such a large area. And so you only could have maybe a maximum of eight children playing at the same time. But with pickleball in this gym, I can actually accommodate 24 kids all at the same time. Some of these kids, the only exposure they're getting to sports and fitness is right here in this gym or in their elementary gym. So we just want to open their eyes to all of the things that are possible. Hi, my name is Kevin O'Donnell. I teach government at Meadowdale Career Tech Center. This is funding that might sound like a little bit, 500, but it can go a long way. 
500 gets these two guitars behind you, that could totally change the life of a kid in your class who needs some sort of artistic outlet like that. And there's a lot of room to be creative with these grants. There's a lot of room to try out new things that you think might work for your students. It's also built such great bonds between students and between teachers and students. There are a lot of teachers here at Meadowdale who play guitar. And so you'll sometimes see Mr. French teaching a riff to a student. I just had a teacher come in just now and say, hey, O'Donnell, I'm borrowing the acoustic real quick. I'm working with a student on something. And so it's built, the best thing that's come out about this is the building community around these instruments. And at the end of the day, that's what it was all for. If you're somebody trying to figure out how can I support education in the most impactful way possible with the amount of resources that I have, this kind of thing would be the place to direct your resources. A little bit can go a really long way. Sometimes we look at our budget and it's millions of dollars going here, millions of dollars going there, and then this is $500 that can be absolutely life-changing for an individual student or a group of students.